Hey there, everyone. Uh, a friend of mine just sent me a link to a video about how Amazon is banning the u or banning the sale of Mylar bags, some Mylar bags. Uh, and he sent me a link to this video from Riverside Homestead and pretty good video. I'll leave the link to this video below. But it is concerning, you know, when you ask why they are doing this stuff. And this was the first time I heard of it. Uh, so I wanted to do a little bit of research and see exactly how concerned uh, we should be about this stuff. Uh, the As I went to Amazon, uh, their policy states that uh, what they're doing is due to regulatory requirements. And this is something else I had to look up. What regulatory requirements? Uh, all Mylar bags that are not clear or single colored must be remo removed from the Amazon store by the 5th of August. And I, I don't know about you, but I have never in my life purchased any multicolored Mylar bag. So I was wondering what that means, what that means as far as the bags that we use for preparedness is concerned. And I don't know, as, as far as right now, uh, I'm assuming that like this comment down here, these bags right here are probably, uh, you know, what they're talking about. Some of these that could be used uh, for drug paraphernalia and stuff like that. Uh, this is what the, the things that I've been reading so far is because of these, the, the regulatory requirements from the U.S. Customs and the fact that these types of bags can be used to conceal the smell of marijuana and, and stuff like that. Uh, I also have this link right here, which I was looking up, and it says that the U.S. Borders and Customs, uh, along with these stash logic storage cases and these bags, uh, so, so it's been deemed these types of, of Mylar bags are deemed to be uh, drug paraphernalia. Their main use is drug paraphernalia. So uh, my point with all of this is if this is, if this is what's being banned, I don't think that affects me as a prepper all that much. But my prepper brain kicks in with all of this stuff and thinks of, and starts thinking about, you know, how far does this go? Uh, you've seen uh, government agencies and politicians do some pretty crazy dumb crap that you would think in a million years would never happen. Uh, the banning of collecting rainwater. Uh, that was a big thing here in Colorado for the longest time, and they recently got rid of that. But so it, it's not out of... Uh, it's not out of the realm of possibility that this expands to more uh, in the future or, or even now. I mean, like I said, I don't know what this pertains to as of yet. We'll wait and see on, on the 5th uh, what you can buy. But it's not out of the realm of possibility that it could expand to other things, the, the things that preppers use. So, you know, I, it, it's kind of a wait and see thing for me. Right now, as, as, this, as it looks to me, it's not a huge deal. On top of that, uh, there are I I don't get my Mylar bags from uh, Amazon. Uh, what I do is I go to this website right here, uh, Wallaby, and they've got quite. I know that they have a good quality. You go to Amazon and you're getting you know who knows what type or what quality Mylar bag you're getting. So and I know these guys are good. Interestingly, though, I hadn't gone to this website. I've got plenty of Mylar bags. I haven't gone to this website in quite a while. Uh, when you refresh this page here, every time you come here, this message pops up, and all of their stuff you have to pre-order now because everything is out of stock. So with all the food shortages, and they talk about supply, is, uh, supply uh, chain issues and stuff like that, with all the food shortages and all of that stuff, uh, it's kind of interesting that this stuff is out of stock. Everything on their website says pre-order. I don't know how long that you know how long that um, that means it's going to take, but it's pretty interesting. Uh, another uh, website, and I've never used this one, but di discountmylarbags.com is one that a lot of prepper websites talk about, uh, and they have kind of the same type of situation where their stuff uh, is currently out of stock as well. So. Uh, it's just it's just really interesting to me that, uh, you know, I didn't realize that Mylar bags, there was such a shortage on Mylar bags. Now, is this because cartels and all that stuff are using them and, and all that? I don't know. I doubt it. I think it's probably a supply chain issue. But 
that is that does it's just one more thing that stacks up on all, all this stuff that's going on uh that you know in the coming months that could lead to something major now my prepper brain with all of this stuff when you think about amazon doing this and you think about u.s customs and all of that stuff my prepper brain starts to think about how all of this stuff kind of you know, coincides. You've got the shortages. You've got Amazon that, you know, even during the pandemic where people were hoarding the N95 masks and stuff like that. Is this, could this be something uh, that is, you know, a, a, an advanced step in trying to cur curtail that long-term food store stuff, that, that quote unquote hoarding that they call it and all that stuff? I don't know. It, I I, th I think it's possible, uh, but you know what? I just don't know at this point. So it's something I'm going to be paying attention to to uh, see where this this little mylar bag shortage thing goes, uh, what they are actually banning, and then also paying attention to the whole regulatory stuff because uh, our government never ceases to amaze me when it comes to uh, you know banning stuff and and doing and making things illegal. Uh, just because they either want to make a name for themselves or they get their little committee and they put it in a bill or something. So, um, you know, it, it, with the sh food shortages and all of that stuff that are possible coming down the line, it wouldn't surprise me to see something like that happen. So just keep an eye on it, I, I, I guess, is my, my whole point with this. It is uh, right now it doesn't seem like as bad as I initially thought. But at the same time, it really does depend on where they go with all of this stuff and, and where they take it. Like I said, I don't think it, it is not the be, Amazon may be the biggest seller in the world, but it's not the be all end all for Mylar bags. So if they stop the private sale of Mylar bags or certain types of Mylar bags, that's when I will get concerned. Because like I said, I showed a couple websites. There's other places you can get them. Uh, maybe not right now, but there are other places that sell them. So if they stop that sale to private citizens and stuff like that, that's when I'll start to get uh, concerned about what the, the game plan is and why they're doing all this stuff. At any rate, if you guys have any thoughts or comments on this or any information that I don't have yet, because like I said, this is fairly new. Um, so, I, you know, the, the more information, the better. Uh, like I said, wait and see. But if you guys have any comments on this, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, make sure and subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to everyone later.